Hello, everyone. I want to call the May 26, 2022 meeting of the Return Board for the 2022 primary and special election to order. First, I will preserve the order and decorum in these meetings. Everyone in attendance should be on notice that shouting out or interrupting the proceedings will not be tolerated. Those who violate this will be as to leave. The Sunshine Act permits anyone attending a public meeting to object to a perceived violation at any time during the meeting. If you choose to do so, please succinctly state your objection. Objecting is not an opportunity for speech making, we are here in the 26th Ward at one of the polling places for one of the affected divisions for your convenience, for the convenience of voters in question. I would like to thank everyone for joining us. I know that a Thursday night before Memorial Day weekend is not ideal. I promise that we will try to get you in and out as quickly as possible. We are here to conduct a hearing concerning mail-in ballots whose applications were received by the Philadelphia Board of Elections requesting for ballots to be sent to P.O. Box 54705 or to 2845 South 16th Street. This is one of the most serious matters that have come up in recent years, though it is unclear if any laws have been broken. That is a matter for the district attorney or others to determine. We are here concerning the resulting ballots. We will hear testimony tonight and vote on the matter along with provisional ballot categories at tomorrow's meeting that will be at 11 a.m. at our ballot processing center at 11311 Roosevelt Boulevard. Because we have a lot of witnesses to go through, we will have public comment at the end of the meeting. I just, for those of you, I'm City Commissioner Chairwoman Lisa Dealy. I'm joined here this evening by uh, Commissioner Seth Blinsky, Um, and I'm going to uh, proceed with new business, and I will call on Chris O'Hare from our investigation unit. Chris? Good afternoon. Can you say your name and position for the record, please? Yes. Uh, my name is Chris O'Hare, and I am a clerk in the Commissioner's Investigations Unit. Can you state your involvement in this matter? I became involved in this investigation on May 5th. Uh, we received multiple mail-in ballot applications that had the ballot being sent to the same address, which was PO Box 54705. Of course, concerns were raised, so I was given a list of all the applicants whose ballots were sent or going to be sent to said PO Box. My task was to contact these voters to see if they would like a replacement ballot to ensure they directly receive their mail-in ballot for the upcoming election. Afterwards, I gave up the letters and subpoenas in reference to this hearing. Thank you. You started reaching out to voters before the Inquirer article was published, correct? Correct. I started reaching out on May 5th and the article wasn't published until a later date. How many voters requested a replacement ballot? In total, there were 39 applications that were affiliated with that PO box, and of the 39, 28 of them had requested a replacement ballot. What party were all of these voters registered in? All the voters are registered Republicans. What divisions were they registered in? All the voters are registered in Ward 26, and the division vary uh, from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. P.O. Box 54705 is the address of the Republican Registration Coalition Pact, correct? Correct. William Lanzalotti Jr. is the chair of that pact, correct? Correct. 2845 South 16th Street is where Mr. Lanzalotti Jr. is registered to vote, correct? Correct. Did the voters that you spoke to seem to be aware that their ballot was being mailed to a P.O. Box and not to their home address? Generally speaking, most of the voters were unaware of the PO box and they thought the ballots would be sent to their registered address. And even some were unaware that they had applied for a mail-on ballot. 
Thank you. We'll let the record reflect that we are now joined by Commissioner Omar Sabir. Did anyone you spoke to state they wanted their ballot to go to that PO box? There were no voters that preferred the PO box over their registered address, no. Did the voters that you spoke to say that they had received the original ballot that they requested? Uh, at the time of contact and those who I spoke to, uh, there were two households that confirmed they received their original ballot. How many of the voters, including the ballots sent to 2845 South 16th Street, returned their ballot and which one did we get back? So in total, there were seven people that returned their mail-on ballot. Uh, the first was Philip Paulino. He had returned his original ballot. Uh, his ballot was one of the ones that were sent to 2845 South 16th Street, not the PO box. Uh, next was Thomas Gillespie. He returned an original ballot. His ballot was sent to the PO box. Uh, I tried to contact Thomas for a replacement ballot, but I was unable to reach him. The third was Leonard Armstrong. He returned both the original and a replacement ballot. I had spoken to Leonard over the phone. He had asked what would happen to the original ballot sent to the PO box if he received the new replacement ballot. And I told him the original would be void, which it has been. Uh, the fourth was James O'Keefe. He returned the replacement ballot that was delivered to his registered address. Jacqueline O'Keefe, she returned the replacement ballot that was delivered to her registered address. Valen Nicole Medina, she returned the replacement ballot that was delivered to her registered address. And finally, Vincenzo Di Donato, and he returned the replacement ballot that was delivered to his registered address. Thank you. Do you feel that these voters did anything wrong that would warrant their vote not being counted? I do not believe the voters did anything wrong that would warrant their vote not counting. Is there anything else that you feel that we should know or that you would like to add it to the record? Not at this time. Do any of the other commissioners have questions for this witness? Chris, you said Mr. Baldino had his ballot sent to 2845 South 16th Street. Is that correct? That is correct. Is he registered to vote there? He is not. Thank you. Any other questions for this witness? Hearing none. Madam Chair. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you aware of uh, PhiladelphiaVotes.com, like our website? Yes. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. We're now, I'm gonna call um, voters from the list. You can, you can step away, Chris. Thank you. The first voter is Leonard Armstrong, Mr. Armstrong. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Could you name, could you state your name for the record, please? Leonard Armstrong. I live at 1746 Doctor Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you. Mr. Armstrong, do you Solomon, swear or affirm to answer all questions truthfully and honestly put forth to you today? Yes. Thank you. Were you aware that you submitted an application to request a mail-in ballot? I was aware of it, yes. Please describe the circumstances on how you applied. I spoke to the gentleman, Bill, uh, and he requested that I uh, do a if I would want to do a mail-in ballot, or if I would vote in person, I said I'd rather do a mail-in ballot. So I did not know 
that I didn't know the full process of how a mail-in ballot is being done. It's the first, and it will be the last. I can tell you that. Even if on my deathbed, it will be my last. Did you know that the Did you know the person who brought you the application? I've known him for quite a few years. I know his family as well. Did you fill out the entire application yourself? The, the ballot? The, the mail-in ballot application. The application for the mail-in ballot. I signed, I believe I did, yes. As far as I recall, I, I, the, the application itself? Yes. Yes, I believe I did, yes. Were you aware that you requested your ballot to be mailed to PO Box 54705? No, I had no idea. Do you know if that mailing address was on the application when you filled it out? No. Did you ever receive your original ballot that was mailed to the PO Box? Uh, it was dropped off um, I believe on a Saturday. I can't remember the dates. When you voted, so you got your original ballot? I actually won it for two ballots. <laughs> so we're so talking about the first ballot that was filled out and I understand it was voided. And then the prior testimony from Chris, I did talk to Chris and he explained what was going down. And I was like, okay, send me, send me the second ballot and I'll use that ballot. Okay. When you voted, was the person who brought you the mail-in ballot application with you? Uh, yes. Did you feel under undue pressure to vote in any certain way? No. Do you feel that your ballot should be counted? Okay. Which one? The second one. <laughs> the second one, yes. Okay. Is there anything else that you feel that we should know or that you would like added to the record? Yes, don't violate the first rule when you're 21 years old. Don't talk politics in a bar. That's it. It's my only comment. Thank you, sir. Hold on one second, okay? Sorry. Do any of the other commissioners have any questions for Mr. Armstrong? Uh, Mr. Armstrong, yes. For clarity, for the record, you only filled out one ballot, correct? I filled out actually two. First one, which later got avoided because it was sent to that PO box. Okay. That one, I don't, since it's avoided, you're right, I only fill that one there. Okay. Yes. Yeah, right. Mr. Armstrong, when you completed the original ballot, how did that ballot get returned to the commissioner's office? Um, it was email, and then I mailed. I mailed the second ballot, the first ballot. I think we went back and forth until it was going to the mailbox and it, had, it was just dropping it off. I'd already had posted one and I didn't see any big deal about it. Of course, I didn't know what the hell I was getting involved in either. So I'm sorry for that last comment. Thank you. Okay. One more question. When you say Billy, do you mean William Lanzalotti Jr.? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Mr. Armstrong, thank you so much for being here tonight. We appreciate it. We're going to call uh, Vin Vincenzo Di Donato, please. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. DiDonato. Do you swear and affirm that the statements you're about to give this evening are truly correct? Yes. Thank you. Could you please state your name again for the record? Vincenzo DiDonato. Your address? 2652 South Lake Street. Were you aware that you submitted an application to request a mail ballot? Yes. Please describe the circumstances on how you applied. 
Um, my friend Billy asked me if I wanted a mail-in ballot. I said, yeah, and then one came in. So you're, you're, is this Billy? What's Billy's full name? I think William learns a lot in Did you fill out the entire application yourself? Yes. Were you aware that you requested your ballot be mailed to P.O. Box 54705? No. Was the mailing address on the application when you filled it out? I believe so. Did you ever receive your original ballot that was mailed to the P.O. Box? I don't know. When did you get a you got a you received a replacement ballot? I got one ballot in the mail, and that was after I spoke with Billy. Then it came to my home address. Okay, so okay, that was a replacement ballot. Do you feel? Did you when you voted? Was there anybody? Uh, was the person who had you apply for the mail-in ballot application with you? No. Do you feel that your ballot should be counted? Yeah. Is there anything else that you feel that we should know or that you would like added to the record? No. Do any of the other commissioners have any questions for Mr. DiDonato? Yes. Uh, previously, you stated that you didn't know whether or not you received that first ballot. Just for the record standpoint, just yes or no? No. Oh. Like, so I got two in the mail, are you asking? No, the first, the first ballot. You said you didn't know where you received it. No, I just got one ballot in the mail. That's one ballot. Too. I have no questions. Hearing no more questions. Thank you, Mr. DiDonato, for your time, and you are excused. Yes. Uh, I'll now call uh, Jackie O'Keefe. Hi, Ms. O'Keefe. Can you just say, do you, can you say your name for the record, please? Yes, Jackie O'Keefe. And your address? 2216 South 17. Do you swear or affirm that the statements you're about to give tonight are true and accurate? Yes. Thank you. Were you aware that you submitted an application to request a mail-in ballot? Yes. Please describe the circumstances on how you applied. Um, some man came to my door, I don't really know him. And um, he asked if I wanted, or my family, if they wanted to mail in the ballots. So I said, yeah. He said, okay. He just took our names. So I asked for his ID, and he gave me his license. I showed my husband. He's not here, my husband. Right now. So um, I told, he told us to do, and he took our names. He didn't give us any ballot. And then I think this guy came to our house not too long ago. I put three ballots in our mailbox, so I only had to fill out one, one time. And I mailed them on 6th and Snyder in their Dropbox. Did you, did you fill the entire application out yourself? Myself, yeah. Were you aware that the ballot that you requested was being mailed to PO Box 54705? No, no one said that. Did you ever receive your original ballot that was mailed to P.O. Box? No, just the one from Chris, I think is his name, put it in my mailbox. Thank That's you. the only one. Well, because he knocked on the door one night and asked, did you want yours to come to your house or a P.O. Box? I don't know. I said, no, my house. Thank you. When you voted, was uh, the person who brought you the mail ballot application there? The what? Was the original person that brought you the mail and ballot application there when you voted? No. I don't even know who he was. He <laughs> told me his name, but I have no clue who he was. I think his last name is Burke, if I remember right. Do you feel that your ballot should be counted? Yes. Is there anything else that you feel that we should know or that you would like added to the record? No. Thank you. Is there any other questions for this witness? No. Do you believe that the person who had you fill out the application would be Michael Burke? Does that sound familiar? I don't remember the first name. Just know he said Burke, and I didn't have his license, but I showed it to my husband. I didn't hear. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Oki. Thanks for being here and your excuse. Okay, there are um, no more witnesses to be heard tonight. One, uh, lastly, we received a letter from William Lancelotti Jr.'s attorney in response to our subpoena, indicating that his client is invoking his Fifth Amendment rights to all our questions and that he did not plan to attend the hearing. Uh, is Mr. Lan Lancelotti here? Okay, seeing that he is not here, we will enter this letter into the record in place of his testimony. We will now move to public comment. Commenters shall stay where they live, or if they are not a resident of Philadelphia, that they are a Philadelphia taxpayer, or since this is the return board, which candidate they represent. Public comment is not an opportunity for dialogue or Q&A. It is public comment, a chance for you to tell us what you think. Each speaker shall have two minutes. However, I may extend this time at my discretion. All public comments must be relevant or germane to board business. Finally, it is my responsibility to preserve the order and decorum of the meetings. So, as such, profane, slanderous, discriminatory, or personal attacks will not be tolerated. Anyone wishing to offer public comment, please step forward. No one is here for public comment, so we will move to Commissioner Bluestein for email public comment. There were no email public comments for this meeting. Commissioner Bluestein, do you have any items to be added to the agenda? I do not. Commissioner Sabir, do you have any items to be added to the agenda? Uh, no, I do not, but I would like to commend uh, my colleagues uh, for putting this together on such short notice. Uh, this is unprecedented and it's an unprecedented response. So, let me thank uh, the commissioners and uh, our deputies. And also, uh, see my two sons, I put my two sons here, and the youngest attendance here in the meeting. You know, it's good to be a witness of uh, democracy firsthand. Yes, thank you. I certainly would like to thank all of you for being here tonight. Again, I, I know the Thursday before a holiday weekend is not ideal, uh, but we do appreciate your taking this time to be with us. Thank you. With no items remaining on the agenda, we'll see you tomorrow.